Hello ladies, it's Carla and this is Truth on a Treadmill and I was just reflecting today. I've been kind of off my treadmill. One of the reasons I was off my treadmill was that it sometimes becomes a clothes rack and carries all the junk that I don't have time to put away during my rather busy life. So today I cleaned off my treadmill so that I could get back to what I need to be doing to maintain my health and to meet with you. I was listening to the song Chain Breaker by Zach Williams. Such a beautiful song and really speaks to my heart because you know, it's not only talking about just the chains of sin, which definitely grip all of us, but the other chains that we weave for ourselves in our lives. And this is the song. It says, if you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies, if you've been trying to fill the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. And then it says, if you've got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison sh shaking savior. If you've got chains, he's a chain breaker. And I don't know any one of us who does not have chains of some sort or the other. And then it goes into the bridge and it says, if you believe it, if you receive it, if you feel it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run to things we know just ain't right. When there's a better life, there's a better life. And then it goes on. But I absolutely love this song. And um, so I was reflecting on this song and my own chains. And of course, what came to my mind was um, the old Christmas Carol movie with Scrooge sitting in his living room, harumphing over Christmas. And Marley um, comes and visits him. And I looked up Marley on Wikipedia and Wikipedia describes Marley. It says he wears a handkerchief tied about his jaws and is captive, bound, and double ironed with chains which are described as long and wound about him like a tail. It was made of cash boxes, keys, padlocks, ledgers, deeds, and heavy purses wrought in steel. He often, in moments of great despair or impatience at Scrooge's skepticism, flings these about the ground before him and almost induces, almost induces his former partner into a swoon. He explains that it is, is the chain that he unknowingly forged himself in life as a result of his greed and selfishness. As he spent his life on this earth obsessing over, I'm trying to scroll it down while I'm walking here. As he spent his life on this earth obsessing over money and mistreating the poor and wretched to fill his pocket. Marley is condemned to walk the earth for eternity, never to find rest or peace, experience an incessant torture of remorse, lamenting that Christmas is the time he suffers most of all. I think of all the chains that I am forging in my own life, whether consciously or unconsciously. Do you have chains? I do. And the more I think about them, I realize that unless I attack those chains about while I'm living, they might find their way 
around my children's necks. My shortcomings and my sins have an uncanny way of showing up in my children. Have you noticed something similar? My prejudices and my tendencies and my hang-ups and my outright sins, although forgiven, can end up plaguing my progeny long after I'm gone to be with the Lord. Fortunately, as surely as the Lord had the chains fall off of Paul and Silas in the prison, we can tackle our chains if we let him have them, not just for salvation, but for living a chainless life. And here's Acts 12. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. So let's cast our burdens on him, ladies. These chains we walk around with each day, many of them handed to us by our own well-meaning parents, or grandparents, or great-grandparents, and many we forged ourselves through our own sin natures and our hang-ups. Let's experience the victory in Jesus that he meant for us to have. Lose the chains, ladies. And we know we can only do that through the strength of the Lord, through his mighty power, but he has the power. And sometimes I think we hold on to our chains. So he wants to free us. Let's desire to be freed from our hangups and our sins and our inadequacies and all the things that plague us and keep us down and weigh us down like chains in our lives. So this is Carla. I hope you enjoyed um, hearing about the chain breaker. And I just really love that song. I hope you will listen to it often. And just think about the chains that are in your life and how you can give those to the Lord to be broken as surely as Paul and Silas's fell off their arms. All right, have a great day. Truth on a treadmill.